Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode, we're going to play the Europa League quarterfinals, both legs against Fenerbahce. And uh, Europe is pretty much our last hope. So you've only missed one game since the last time we met, which was a 1-0 home defeat against ninth placed Everton. It was a very disappointing game. We didn't play particularly well, but neither did they. They did not deserve the win. But they've got us. Moyes came with the goal in the 78th minute, and that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We are eight points behind Manchester City now in fifth position, and only two points ahead of Wolves in seventh. We are really crumbling a little bit in the league. Um, so all effort, all... All hopes and dreams rely on a Europa League campaign this season. So in the first leg against Fenerbahce, we are away from home, which is ideal. And this is how we're going to line up. Jack Butland will start in goal. Bella Kocep, Onjean and Kerra in the central defender roles. George Baldock and Ender Stevens come in as Dodo is still injured. He's still got another three months. Luca Pellegrini is unfortunately suspended for today's match, so we are a little bit weak in our first 11. Renato Sanchez and Danny Olmo will start in the centre of midfield. Jean-Pierre in behind Haaland and Esposito. So apart from the wing-backs, we've got pretty much a full-strength side. Not very many options off the bench, unfortunately, but we're going to have to make do with what we have. And Fenerbahce are pretty attacking in this first leg, coming out with a 4-2 for Andrea Ayew and Neymar recognised Luis Gustavo. Um, not very many other names are recognised there, but they've got other quarterfinals of the Europa League. They managed to beat Bayer Leverkusen, who've got a decent side, so we can't underestimate them. There is a highlight straight from kickoff. George Baldock gets... Oh, never mind. Just ignore me. First highlight of the game, properly 45 seconds in. Fenerbahce with a goal kick, probably from that first attack that we've just seen. And they've played about nicely to get it in the midfield, and the ball's over the top. He's one-on-one -on -one with Jack Butland. Butland with a big save to keep us level in this match. Obviously, we are free away from home in the first leg. Ideally, we get an away goal and at least a draw. But I would ideally like a win. Jean-Pierre's in behind. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and a big save by them. Danny Olmo with the corner. It's played into the back post, unfortunately. They managed to get rid. And this is unlikely to lead anywhere, but I'm going to stick with it anyway. Danny Olmo on the left-hand side. Keep maintaining possession. Tries to find Ender Stevens. It's cleared. Is this the end of highlight? It is. Eight minutes in now, and there is another highlight. It's Fenerbahce with Ayu <coughs> currently in possession. Lewis Gustavo with the ball over the top. Jack Butland claims that easily. We give the ball back to Fenerbahce a little bit too easily, and Lewis Gustavo finds Mariki in behind, and one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He gets his 27th goal of the season. Vedat Mariki, and we go 1-0 down inside 10 minutes. It's all a little bit disappointing. We were in possession. Jack Butland gave it away. And um, a decent ball over the top and a really good finish considering one-to-ones on this game. 1-0. Danny Olmo with a corner for us. He plays a back post. It's cleared by the Fenerbahce defence. Esposito loses out to Atoma as well. Thankfully, we win possession and don't suffer a counter-attack. We don't. Ender Steven rece receives the ball on the left-hand side. He's getting jockeyed, but he finds George Baldock. It's cleared again by Fenerbahce. Just the final touch in the box is letting us down. The ball's played over the top. Butland claims don't give it away. Ender Stevens now receives the ball off Butler and finds Jean-Pierre, who finds Ender Stevens once again. He's driven at the box. He, he should not be shooting. Stop shooting, Stevens. Another highlight, Renato Sanchez on the ball for us currently. We're in our own, uh, own half, playing at the bow, but Haaland receives the ball from Angin and goes for goal. And that's a poor strike. Bella Kocha picks up a knock 30 minutes in. We haven't really got the players on the bench to be oh that's an awful awful throw in and it sets away Fenerbahce with Andre Ayew he's beat his man he goes for goal goes just wide fortunately enough for us Bella Kochap's gonna have to come off <laughs> I didn't even show you this guy Ismail Trioria I signed on a free after somebody got injured he's 35 years old he is dreadful but he's gonna have to come on and hopefully be able to see us out the rest of this match 1-0 down going into half time here Hopefully we can keep it at 1-0 and not 2-0 here. 40 minutes in, uh, Fanabachi are currently in possession. Good, good challenge by Kerr Kera, though, to dispossess Mariki. And maybe George Baldock can build something on this right-hand side. Finds Renato Sanchez. We've got three men ahead of him, but he doesn't find anything. He turns back round and gives the ball away. We're just sloppy in the final third today. Ozan wins the ball in the midfield. Fanabachi drives forward. Don't give a penalty. Oh, that, that is a penalty. Uh, Jerome Onjean gives a penalty to Fenerbahce and they can go 2-0 up here. Come on, Jack. Please, please do the business. Denis Torok says steps up for Fenerbahce. 
please, Jack, do do us a favour. We really need this. We're not playing particularly well. I'm going 2-0 down. It'll be a nightmare. And Butland saves it. Big, big save. Big moment. Highlight now. One minute before half-time. Traore with a free kick. Danny Olmo switches the play. Lovely to Baldock on this right-hand side. He gets to the byline. Has to come back to Sanchez. Finds, a specific, finds Ender Stevens. <laughs> With so many, so many opportunities that I've just sort of half, half taken, half not. And there we are, half-time. Fenerbahce 1, Sheffield United 0. We are pretty fortunate to go in at this scoreline. We're not playing particularly well. Neither are Fenerbahce, to be honest, but they find themselves 1-0 up. Um, we'll kick off for the second half. No changes made just now. We've went to a counter-attacking style as they are still... Oh, my God. Two minutes after half-time, we go 2-0 down. An absolute worldie of a free kick by Dennis Turok. And um, that's not not a great start at the second half. Jack Butland should probably do a little bit better there. He manages to make it across the goal line but not get a strong enough hand to it. And... We've got all the work to do now. Just get one goal back before the second leg. Renato Sanchez drives forward, takes the strike on at a narrow angle. And it's a decent save by the Fenerbahce keeper. Ender Stevens to take the corner, though. He plays it in. Luis Gustavo clears. Kerra, Haaland. Oh, he's he's going the wrong way. That The goal's that way, mate. George Baldock. And oh, this is Ender highlight. Ender Stevens once again with a free kick. He plays it in on Jean. Picks it up on the edge of the area. Finds Stevens once again, who plays the ball in again. Falls to Jean-Pierre. And Jean-Pierre gets his 19th goal of the season. Esposito ends up with the assist. And that brings us back into the match 2-1. We really, really needed that. Onjean and Ender Stevens playing about here on the uh, right-hand side after the corner. And it falls to Esposito who heads it down to Jean-Pierre. And it's a decent strike. The keeper can't do anything about that one. If the game was to end now, I would be relatively pleased. I, we are 2-1 down, but we've got the away goal. Bringing them back at home. With that little bit of hope, that's not too bad after being 2-0 down and then missing a penalty. 15 minutes to go though, we'll look to get some substitutes on. We really, really are struggling for strength and depth here. We'll get Luke Freeman on the left wing back role. I don't really want to take Danny Olmo off to be honest with you. I want to bring Alexander Isaac on for Haaland who's having a really, really poor game up top. So we will do that and see how we go. Corner for Fenerbahce, it's played in, back post. Headed gets to it, thankfully he misses the target. And it looks like that's going to be all she wrote for this game. Fenerbahce 2, Sheffield United 1, a disappointing result. But um, dating them back home with the away goal is not too bad. Uh, ESC Milan with a fantastic result against Braga away from home, 4-3. Lazio win the first leg against Roma 2-1 and Real Sociedad beat Spartak Moscow 3-0 at home. So it likely is Milan, I'm going to guess Roma and I'm going to guess Real Sociedad going through. Um, in these matches but for we've, we've got to get past Fenerbahce if we want any hope of making the semi-finals of the Europa League only one game in between which is against Brighton at home in the Premier League I will play that and get to the second leg full time against Brighton in the Premier League and thankfully an Alexander Isaac 30th minute goal gave us the three points we didn't we didn't play well um, it was a pretty dull game all things said but uh, Brighton are a poor enough side that we were able to get past them even at <clears throat> only getting it in a second gear. Uh, we'll see where that saves us light in the Premier League table. We'll still probably be sitting sixth. Yeah, we are four points clear of Wolves in seventh with a game in hand, which is nice to see. Um, we're only three point, uh, six points behind Manchester City, but a game in hand against them as well. So, with only six games to go in the Premier League, Europa League is looking likely. Maybe sixth position will be enough. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. But, let's get to the Fenerbahce second leg. So we're at the second leg against Fenerbahce. Of course, we are at home in this leg. The lineup is exactly the same as it was during the first leg. I was tempted to maybe start Alexander Isaac after his goal in the last game, but um, I'm going to put my trust in Esposito and Haaland to see us through this match, and let's get to kickoff. First highlight of the game, one minute in, Danny almost switches the play to George Baldock. He's going to go for goal. Good save by the keeper. Decent bit of bit, decent start by us at the very least. Another highlight now, corner from Danny almost played in Pellegrini, gets his head on it and hits the woodwork. <laughs> Please give us an early goal just to settle the nerves a little bit. Ronaldo Sanchez continues the highlight down the left-hand side. Is this going to mean anything? Boz played in, George Baldock's there. Easy for the keeper. 23 minutes in now, Bella Kotchap with a free kick, finds Haaland over the top, goes for the first time strike and doesn't manage to hit the target. 25 minutes in now, Esposito chasing him down on the left-hand side. He clears, 
Uh, who's this going to? I have no idea. It looks like we're going to retain possession with Bella Kochap at the back. He switches the play to Kerra. Um, his defensive partner, Luca Pellegrini, comes down the left-hand side. He beats his man. He's in... Oh, it's just an awful cross. Apparently, that was a strike, according to the commentary, by the way. The one that just pretty much hit the corner flag. Another highlight now, it's Fenerbahce this time who are in possession, but they give the ball away to Jean-Pierre and he drives in behind the defence. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and Jean-Pierre's 20th goal of the season brings us level on aggregate, puts us 1-0 up on the night and with that away goal in the last leg, if things were to stay as they are, we will be going through to the next round. Jean-Pierre doing excellent work, winning the ball and then beating the defenders to get in the box and it's a really, really good strike to beat the keeper. One-on-one. -on -one. Come on, boys, let's see the, re oh, the rest of this game. And there we have it, half-time. Sheffield United have won. Fenerbahce and Neil have played absolutely fantastically in the first half. Probably the best first half of football we've seen for quite a while. Um, let's see if we can maintain it. Highlight now, George Baldock finds Erling Haaland on this right-hand side. He's in the box, he takes a strike, and what a finish. Well, that is my son. His 21st goal of the season, an assist for George Baldock. And that's what we like to see from our strikers. He was... I was looking at either dropping Haaland or Esposito. Haaland has proved that he should start today's game. That is a fantastic strike on his left foot. Far post. Keeper can do nothing about that. 2-0 up, boys. Let's just keep it tight at the back. Fenerbahce have went attacking with the 4-2-4. What they, This was the formation that done us in the first leg. Why they changed it, I don't really know. But they've went for it for the final 20 minutes or so. We have slowed down our tempo a little bit, went to a more balanced um, team mentality and it looks like it's working for us as George Baldock goes in and had um, he's 20 yards wide <laughs> at the very least. 10 minutes to go, Fenerbahce are currently on the ball, one goal takes us to extra time, Andre Ayew has been behind, big big save by Jack Butland, we're going to go defensive, we're going to just like try and maintain this lead, we really really don't want to drop this back now. We're going to change these to complete forwards on support. We'll leave it as things are like that and see if our boys can see out the rest of this game. We haven't got our wing-backs bombing forward anymore. Can hopefully deal with our wingers a little bit more effectively. Esposito picks up the ball with five minutes to go. Tilo Kerra switches the ball to George Baldock on his right-hand side. Don't go for goal. Please cross it. He's went for goal. Oh, three minutes to go. There's another highlight. We are in an attacking position. Luca Pellegrini with the ball on the left-hand side. Jean-Pierre ends up picking it up from Danny Olmo. The ball switched to George Baldock on the right-hand side. This I don't feel comfortable with this. Ronaldo Sanchez finds Luca Pellegrini. Back to Sanchez. Back to Pellegrini. We're keeping possession nicely, but uh, not really doing anything with it as Pellegrini drives forward. Finds Danny Olmo on the edge. Goes for goal. A fall to Jean-Pierre after a deflection. Um, oh, this highlight. I don't like it whatsoever. George Baldock on this right-hand side this time. Finds Danny Olmo, who finds Jean-Pierre, who goes for goal. All that play led to a shot wide. We have dominated this match. And now we have it. Full-time Sheffield United 2, Fenerbahce 0. We are through to the semi-finals of the Europa League. Come on, boys. And there's the final results from the rest of the quarter-finals in the Europa League. Milan squeeze past Braga. Lazio beat Roma. And Real Sociedad end up beating Spartak Moscow, who will be our competition in the semi-finals of the Europa League, which will be the next episode. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.